me in Chicago We'll have ourselves a time Like it is always the case, there are also some disappointments, uh, was it? Uh? Well, um, a trial which um, I had a personal interest in was the so-called Proclaim trial. Um, so Proclaim was a trial in which patients with stage 3 non-small cell lung cancer uh, were treated with um, two different um, chemo radiotherapy radio radio schemes. So as you know, the standard in um, at least good performance patients is concurrent chemoradiotherapy and one of the preferred standard uh, combinations is still the old cis platin etoposide combination um, followed uh, at least in, in, in some countries followed by a consolidation chemo with the same drug or with another regimen. So this was the standard arm. Now the hypothesis was that um, adding at least in those patients with non-squamous um, uh, histology, um, adding pemetrexid to cisplatin and also pemetrexid in the maintenance arm would improve the outcome as compared to the standard arm. Mm. And certainly if you look at the data with um, pemetrexid in advanced um, non-squamous non-small cell lung cancer where an advantage was seen over uh, other agents, uh, this could be expected. Unfortunately, the trial which was well conducted and uh, included uh, 600, about 600 patients, turned out to be negative. There was no difference in outcome um, between both treatment arms. Uh, and um, this is certainly a disappointment for, for us because this confirms that also in stage three, we are with plateauing results uh, and, and, and no improvement um, in the last uh, 10 years and um, the novel uh, chemotherapy agents do not uh, alter our um, st current standard. Um, there was some discussion about whether the combination with pemetrexid would have less, less uh, lesser toxicity than with etoposide, and this, this is the only um, conclusion which is, is, is positive, that indeed the hematologic toxicity with the combination cis-pemetrexid was all over the courses, Better. But the toxicity of most interest for us is obviously the radiation pneumonitis and the radiation esophagitis, uh, which, which can occur with concurrent chemoradiotherapy. And these rates were not, uh, were not different. So taken all together, it is questionable whether the small um, increase in, in hematologic toxicity could warrant uh, changing the treatment paradigm for the moment.